What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're talking about Tesla and the company's plans to announce a major battery recycling initiative at its upcoming Battery Investor Day. Uh, it's just around the corner, about a month away. September 22nd is the date we're all circling uh, where Tesla is going to announce its or have its Battery Investor Day, announce how it's scaling battery production. I made a whole video about that. And one of the biggest feedback I got is, why haven't you talked about Tesla's battery recycling plans? And so in this video, I want to give you an update on what I think about this and whether or not they will partner with Red Redwood materials. And what this all boils down to pretty much is are Elon Musk and JB Straubel still homies or not? That is what's dictating whether a partnership will be announced. I'll, I'll, you'll, you'll figure out what that means by the end of this video. This all started with a 2017 filing uh, with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission that showed a company Redwood Materials was formed and raised $2 million based in Palo Alto, right around the corner from Tesla HQ. Um, JB Straubel is actually listed as one of the founders of this company. So out of the blue, founder of Tesla started in 2004 at Tesla, JB Straubel, actually a co-founder of the company, um, CTO all the way through 2019. Well, in 2017, he secretly raises $2 million for this very stealth mode battery recycling, materials recycling company. Nobody knows what is going on. They have nothing up other than a website. Well, fast forward to mid-2018. We get a note um, at the 2018 shareholder meeting where they talk about Tesla's uh, battery recycling from a question. They say Tesla will absolutely recycle. J.B. Straubel actually answering this and saying we do recycle all of our spent cells, modules, and battery packs. So the discussion about is this waste ending up in landfills is not correct. We would not do that. These are very valuable materials. In addition, it's the right thing to do. We have current partner companies on every major continent where cars have operating that we will work to do this today. And in addition, we're developing internally more processes and we're doing R&D on how we can improve this recycling process to get more of the active materials back. Ultimately, what we want is a closed loop right at the gigafactories that reuse the same recycled materials. So here, J.B. Straubel gives us a clue to his vision of this closed loop recycling system that exists at every Tesla gigafactory. And now is the perfect time for this all to come to a head. Not only is Tesla Battery Investor Day coming, but Tesla started selling the Model S in 2012. It's been eight years since then. So they're just starting to get this initial wave of Teslas to come off the road at end of life and start to need that battery recycling technology. And what I think is the really interesting tidbit from all of this is Tesla's hinting that from an environmentally and potentially cost perspective, it could be way more advantageous and strategic to do recycling uh, for your battery supply chain than actually do mining. And that's why they have so much focus on this because now we've got like a million and growing Teslas on the road. Soon there's going to be millions of electric vehicles every year that need to be taken off the road and recycled. So now is the time to start building those processes and technology. And that is why Tesla is pushing into it. Then in late 2018, uh, there, uh, CNBC, Laura Kaladin comes out with an article saying that JB Straubel and Redwood Materials are expanding and moving into Nevada from Silicon Valley. And the most interesting part of this, and it looks like they're scaling, things are moving here at Redwood. Late 2018, they say Redwood is not currently doing any business with Tesla and our expansion to Nevada is unrelated to Tesla or the Gigafactory directly. That's sort of a head scratcher because JB's at this time working for Tesla and Redwood. They're both doing battery recycling, but apparently not working together on it. Sort of a head scratcher if you ask me. Fast forward to the 2018 Tesla Impact Report, which came out actually in early 2019, the full year impact report. And they talk about their battery recycling plans and they have a very interesting clue. They say, today we work with third party recyclers around the world to process and scrap all of our end of life batteries to recover valuable metals. Our recycling partners work with us to ensure that non-valuable or non-recoverable materials from the batteries are disposed of responsibly. So they're saying they work with third party recyclers Redwood Materials would fit as a third-party recycler to be working with Tesla with. But then they also say, at Gigafactory 1, Tesla's developing a unique battery recycling system that will process both battery manufacturing scrap and end-of-life batteries. Through this system, the recovery of critical materials or the critical minerals such as lithium and cobalt will be maximized along with the recovery of all metals used in the battery cell such as copper, aluminum, and steel. All of these materials will be recovered in forms optimized for new battery material production. So it's like, okay, they're buying, they're doing recycling with third parties now, but they're developing this unique battery recycling system. Is there a partner in that development of that new system? Is that partner Redwood? We have no idea. Fast forward to the 2019 impact report, Tesla triples down on this with a whole page about battery recycling at Gigafactory Nevada, saying once again, today we do work with third party battery suppliers uh, around the world to process all scrap and end of life batteries to recover valuable metals. Our recycling partners work with us to ensure non-valuable or non-recoverable materials from the batteries are disposed of responsibly. 
And then they also continue to say exactly what they said last year, that they're working on developing a unique battery recycling system at Gigafactory Nevada that will process both battery manufacturing, scrap, and end-of-life batteries. This is a big hint that their real focus is on recycling, not mining, or at least they're probably, they're working on both. But, uh, you know, this recycling really is going to come into focus and be a huge piece of that supply chain. Because think about it, once we get, you know, and replace all the ICE cars with electric vehicles, and all these electric vehicles are coming off the end of the line, end of life every single year, we can use all of those recycled batteries and put them back into a new vehicle. And then the amount of new mining we'll have to do for electric vehicle batteries could be greatly, greatly reduced. So this is a huge technology to really making, you know, if we're going to have every single thing in the world run on batteries, go electric, we really need this recycling technology to work. And so um, they even say that in 2019, Tesla, they put out some numbers here, a thousand tons of nickel, 320 tons of copper, 110 uh, tons of cobalt. And so this is really interesting. They even once again say, closed loop battery recycling process presents a compelling solution to move energy supply away from the fossil fuel based practices of take, make and burn to a more circular model of recycling end of life batteries for reuse over and over again. Where does this sound familiar? If we could tie this unique battery recycling process that Tesla is scheming on in their impact report into one really simple picture or logo, it would look like this, which happens to be the logo of Redwood Materials. And so Redwood Materials here is ramping up. They still won't say they're working with Tesla. They have moved to Nevada right next to Tesla where Tesla's developing this unique recycling process, but we don't know if they're working with them or not. The job postings on their website are out of control. They have three internship positions looks like a dozen or two dozen jobs open. Redwood Materials is clearly moving. Things are clearly happening here. So what's my take on this? At Tesla's Battery Investor Day, they will announce a major initiative for battery recycling. My guess is they will really tout this new unique sort of closed loop battery recycling system that they're beta testing at Gigafactory Nevada right now. They're gonna tout this new system and process they've developed, say this is how many materials we're recovering, this is the percentage, this is why this is a game changer, this is what we're gonna do with all the end of life Model S battery packs that are starting to come off the line. It's gonna be so, so exciting. But the biggest question is gonna be, are they partnering with Redwood Materials? Where is J.B. Straubel? This is one of the weirdest and funniest coincidences in the Tesla universe that's going on that's sort of like, is just a mystery. Cause it's like, well, why hasn't Redwood announced that they're partnering with Tesla? Why in 2018, when JB literally says they're working at the Gigafactory at this revolutionary battery recycling technology, then he also says two months later that Redwood is not working with Tesla. So maybe Redwood's not working on this recycling technology. So there's just a lot of, you know, I don't know. The dynamic to me is like, were, are, did Elon and JB have some sort of falling out? Is there not a partnership? Are they going their separate ways? Are they just done with working together? Is that it? Or is there a secret partnership that they're waiting to just just announce at Battery Day. I think that could totally be it. And they just want to keep the wraps on it until it's ready to announce. Um, or is it just that, you know, this is a huge problem. It's not just about Tesla and Tesla's battery packs. It's that everything in the world is going electric. This is a lot more than just working with Tesla. And that's where JB really wanted to spend his time and focus was this whole recycling problem that society is, 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 ha is facing, not just recycling Tesla's battery packs. And that's why I think it may have made a lot more strategic sense to launch this as its own company um, and have its own mission rather than, you know, being jumbled up with Tesla. So to me, that would sort of make the most sense of kind of what I hope is happening. And it's really not just, you know, it's not just about cars. Think about your phone, the phone that I'm recording this on, all the electronics, my laptop, the speaker, every single thing that we use has batteries and it's just increasing like crazy. And so the, the battery recycling industry to me has massive potential and I see huge growth. Just to give you a flavor of how big of an exciting uh, market opportunity this is, the uh, experts are saying that this is gonna be a lithium ion battery recycling, a $14 billion industry by 2026, only two billion today, growing at a 27% CAGR for the next eight years. I mean, this is an explosive business and it makes sense, like that sounds crazy, but if you just look at the growth of Tesla's fleet, you're like, and electric cars in general, you're like, yeah, it makes sense. We're gonna have to recycle a lot more lithium ion batteries. So I think Redwood Materials on its own could be a multi-billion dollar company company just based on lithium ion recycling. But what's the other thing that's in all our electronics and our Teslas that are actually computers on wheels that we might run or cycle? What about those chips? What about the motherboard? What about the circuit board? Uh, the FSD computer, basically. Um, and, you know, all of those chips that are in all of your cell phones and smartphones and in every single IoT device. Like, this is a lot more about battery recycling and also a more holistic electronic recycling um, as well. I think Red Materials is not just going to do lithium ion. They're going to expand into all sorts of materials and chips and circuit boards 
and uh, you know, pretty much everything that needs recycling from an electronics perspective, hopefully they will be able to take under their wing. I'm extremely bullish on redwood materials. I would be investing hand over fist in redwood materials if I could. Um, if it, if you held a gun to my head and asked me the chance of a redwood and Tesla partnership, I'm sorry to disappoint guys, but I'm gonna say it's 50-50. Like I really don't know. Half of me thinks redwood's doing their own thing. They said they're not working together. The other half of me thinks there's it's a no brainer. Of course there's a partnership. It's been under wraps. They're gonna announce it. It's gonna be epic. And that'll be like the building block contract which sets Redwood up to get enough revenue and cash flow and grow their business and expertise to really expand and become this, you know, worldwide electronics recycling behemoth that's worth billions of dollars. Makes me so excited that JB Straubel is not chilling and retiring on a beach with his huge amount of money he made from Tesla. He's going, continuing the work to push electric vehicles and sustainable energy forward by moving the needle on a, and, and pushing the pace of innovation forward on a very, very critical puzzle piece, battery recycling. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot of, while I'm in the weeds on this, I think there's going to be a lot of talk at Tesla's battery day about how they're manufacturing the battery and what materials go into the battery and how they design it to be ready to be recycled and how that all works. I think there's going to be a lot of innovation on that aspect as well. Anyway, that sums it up. Um, more questions than answers in this battery recycling piece uh, of, of Tesla's business. I'm really curious to see what they announce. Cannot wait. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And the biggest reason I made this video is because I want your schemes. What is going on at Redwood? What is going to get announced at battery day about this battery recycling piece of the business? What's going on? Are JB and Elon still homies? I need to know and you're going to help me. Anyway, this is HyperChange. Huge shout out to our Patreon supporters, producers, fun in the channel. See y'all next time. Peace.